Okay, Aquarius, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your reading for June 2021. Summer Rise being signed. Let's go ahead, jump to your reading and see what is coming towards you and love. And the cards here for Aquarius. What's coming towards Aquarius and love? Coming towards Aquarius and love June. Whoa, no, no, no. <laughs> no. June 2021. There we go. Okay. You have the Page of Swords. You have the page of pentacles. Why does this keep coming out? You have the nine of wands. All of my air signs have gotten that nine of wands so far. And you have the queen of cups and the queen of cups. Look, there's going to be stress and love here, okay? Uh, offers coming in and rejected. That's what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. You're going to be like, this is just too much. You're doing too much. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, I have to be really open and blatant <laughs> in these readings when it comes to love here, okay? Because I feel like there is an offer coming in um, because someone's watching you, learning you, paying attention to you, um, finding out information through your social media possibly or through people with the page of swords here um and they're trying to figure out who you are okay in order for them to offer you um make an offer towards you okay but spirit is saying this is a good catch on paper okay uh but it's a false start in love okay you need to observe whoever this love uh, whoever this is that's offering you this love here, okay? Because it could cause a lot of unnecessary stress here, okay? And really uh, mess up your energy here. The Queen of Cups is here it's saying, use your intuition. Don't get bent out of shape with whoever this is, okay? This person could be an earth sign or an air sign. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Let's see what this person is up to. Let's go in Aquarius. I feel like you guys are saying, I don't have time for this. I got a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things I need to do and take care of in my life. I don't have time for this foolishness here, okay? Queen of Cups is like, use your intuition. Don't just put your heart out there. Um, because you may have an exciting partner come into your life. Or uh, you may look through this person's social media or have conversations with them and it may be feeling good it may be looking good on the surface but when you open the book it's a bunch of empty pages okay that's what i feel um like you may have a smooth talker coming into your life here i hate to start your reading off like that but i gotta give you what i'm saying okay let's see what message this uh, lover or love interest has for you what message does this person have for Aquarius here in June? Being apart has been changing, life-changing for me. Okay, this may be a past lover for some of you guys that's still paying attention to you, has their eye on you with that page of swords. They're saying I'm a better person because of you, and they're going to put it on thick, like gaslighting you. That's what I feel here, okay? A bunch of sweet nothings. Um, they're saying, I feel safer in silence here. Lord. I feel like they feel safer in silence when you're going through something. Like, they're like, I'm just giving you your space. Well, that's when you need to kick in. When I'm stressed out. <sighs> okay? That's what I feel here. Like, they feel safer in silence because you're going through something. But they also see you at a vulnerable point. So, at some point, they're going to try to come in. Um, because they've been keeping an eye on you here, okay? They're saying, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices here, okay? Different choices. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Let's go a little deeper, you guys. How does this person truly feel about Aquarius? They're saying you came closer than anyone. 
possibly closer than anyone really wanted to come. That's why Spirit is saying use your intuition here, okay? They're saying I'm so attracted to you here. There is some physical attraction. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, and this person may be attractive as well. Um, for some of you, this is someone that you've dealt with already, okay? You've had a connection or... Um, of some sort with this individual okay sex may have been fun but this person lacks in deep commitment that's the energy that is coming in here all right um with the pages it's nothing the way it should like serious it's just a page all right it's not the king or the knight where we come off a little bit more mature and serious okay um it's just surface level okay it's not um for some, it's material level. It's not really a heartfelt one here, okay? They're saying, I wish I could have shared my good news with you, okay? They're saying, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yes, I do. The encounters you may have had with them. So they want another go around with you here, Aquarius. What actions does this person truly want to take with Aquarius? Let's see what they want. Or how they're coming towards you, right? What actions does this person want to take with Aquarius here in June? Ooh, okay. So they want to come back with apologies, possibly, okay? With this temperance card that's coming in here. Um, I feel like this person... Uh, with this temperance card may also be waiting for the perfect timing uh, to come back here into your life. Like I told you, they're waiting for, well, oh my goodness, <laughs> they're waiting for you to be in a, a, um, a vulnerable state before they kick in, okay? So careful what you post on social media, like I'm looking for love and I, my heart is open right now and you know how how we put those things out there, okay? Calling in our love or trying to manifest our true love and putting out all of our business out there. Everybody don't do that. I don't. But if you are doing that, be very careful because you may be calling in someone that you really don't want to bring into your life here, okay? Because so I feel like someone does have their eye on here on you. Page of Swords and the Temperance card. They're just waiting for the appropriate time to strike. Look at that kite. Okay, um, so this person may also have the gift of the gab, like be able to talk, uh, talk to you very smooth and get into your emotions here. Okay, um, the spirit is saying practice self restraint here. Okay, you have the will of fortune here that's coming in. They're going to try to convince you that they have changed or there's something different about them here. Okay, this is it. You got the ten of pentacles that they're ready to settle down. Um, this is how they're going to come to you here. They're going to tell you what you want to hear with this Ten of Pentacles here. All right. Whatever plans uh, that you want to make in the future, like I want to, uh, uh, I want my goal is to get married and have a deep level of commitment and have this relationship that is both emotionally and physically and spiritually strong and I want to connect with this person on this level I feel like they will feed you this here okay they will uh try to seem like they're very balanced here um but we're gonna get down to the bottom of this because I want to know what obstacles are in the way of you guys getting together what are the obstacles between Aquarius and this lover or love interest Someone else, possibly. You have the Empress card that's coming in here. Ooh. You have the Five of Wands. You may be dealing with someone that is very, has a very um, negative energy. Like they like to argue or fight. <laughs> okay, with that Five of Wands. Um, hmm. They have the desire to always be right here, okay? They may be very negative with their words here as well. Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands is coming in here. Um, 
I would be very careful because I feel like they may have someone else that they're dealing with as well with the Queen of Swords that's coming in and that Empress card that's coming in as well as being an obstacle in their way here. They may have someone, air, um, Earth sign or Water sign that they're currently dealing with that they have issues with as well or they may have a, a troubled past with someone here. Um, it may have been very manipulative or just like to argue and fight and they were very competitive against their partner okay this i feel like they would carry this over to a new relationship that's the obstacle with the five of wands it's a clear sign that someone has issues with the way that they treat and talk to someone here okay um your person here okay this lover or love interest is very defensive as well mm. you may be dealing with the narcissist that's what i'm hearing here okay I feel like they, um, they've played this game, though, uh, with other people here. They're just testing, t testing the waters to see if you would accept their nonsense here um, as well. I'll be very careful. The Queen of Cups is saying pay attention, okay, to this individual. Really use your intuition um, with this person here. They, can't, they may come in as a romantic partner fulfilling your dreams verbally here okay but physically it's not there there's nothing proven here okay they may set the mood and make it make it uh feel like they will fulfill your every need okay but there's a, something deeper i feel like they're saying don't ignore the red flags with this individual as well okay so a possible outcome five of pentacles you're gonna be broken down with this person financially in trouble okay or this person may definitely um get you in this state of really liking them being into them um and then disappearing out of your life okay once they get what they want here okay the five of pentacles is about abandonment or being left out in the cold here okay left at the altar that's what that's saying okay you have the ace of wands here spirit wants you to focus on your um own new beginnings and like I said, pay attention to the red flags with this moon card that's coming in here as well. You may be dealing with someone that plays too many games or they just live in this fantasy in their head about uh, partnering up with someone, but they really can't fulfill um, the dream. Okay, let me put it that way here. Well, what message do you have here for Aquarius? Let's get your closing message out, Aquarius. the Milky Way. It says a light at the end of the tunnel, a time of peace, harmony, and opportunity is here, the star card. So uh, this could be a wish fulfillment. You guys, like I said in the beginning of your reading, may be calling out for your lover, trying to manifest your lover, and this individual shows up, okay? Um, It may be short-lived, like a manifestation may be short-lived. That's the energy that I'm getting off of that card, okay? Because they're the false person that's showing up. You got the moon card here. So someone's not grounded in reality. They like to feed a lot of stories to people here, okay? And this is what you need to be aware of, the illusion that someone may be bringing towards your dream here, okay? The card is saying, keep your eyes open. Double check everything. Things may be hidden from you here, Aquarius, okay? Pisces energy, Aquarius energy here. So you guys are dealing with the Pisces or fire sign. And that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family. I would love to have you guys over here. Hit that notification bell. I will be back with you guys with another reading. Take care of yourself, Aquarius. Bye.